Well, good evening, everyone, and uh, it's a true honor to be here with you guys tonight. Uh, thanks again, Tom and Stacy. have been thanked a lot, but it's well-deserved, and I want to thank you again. Um, tonight, we're here to celebrate some amazing people and some amazing companies. And uh, before we get to the celebration and the awards, I want to talk about how we've gotten to this place we're at right now, where CAMPS is honoring such amazing companies. And when I think about how we've gotten to where we are at, I think about the World War II generation. And everyone knows the World War II generation, commonly known as the greatest generation. And I ask, why was that called the greatest generation? And the question, the answer to that question is because during that generation, that time in our country, everyone knew their why. They came together at a common cause and sacrifice. And because they knew their why, every day became missional. And because every day became missional, the work that they did elevated the standard of living in this country, and because the standard of living in this country rose, the world's standard of living rose. The greatest generation was amazing, because they knew their why. Their, their children came, the baby boomers. And the baby boomers, they're smart people, but they didn't understand the power of a why. What they did look at, though, was the power of the what. And they looked at the what, they looked at the output, and they tried to perfect that what. But when you exhaust the what, eventually, discontent arises. And we see in this country in the late 60s and early 70s, a lot of discontent arising because people had no more meaning and they were struggling for purpose. <coughs> so the next generation comes along, Generation X. And Generation X looked at the discontent that arose and realized that something's not working, but far gone from the why, and understanding that what was not enough they focused on the how. And when they focused on the how, thankfully, we had a technological revolution in this country. Companies like Apple and Microsoft were produced. Very smart people focused on a process and expanded that process. But as you take a how out to its fullest extent, you're still left without meaning. And right now, we're seeing in this country, led by the manufacturing industry, a full circle revolution back to the why. Back to the power of meaning and purpose in everyday life. The manufacturing industry, I love this industry. It's, it's, um, it's underserved and it's overlooked and it's usually forgotten. But as my friends that are in the tech industry like to talk about the tech industry, I love to listen to them and I say, yeah, but, but there's no tech industry without the manufacturing industry. And my friends that are in the healthcare industry that love talking about all the innovations in healthcare, that's great. But there's no healthcare industry without the manufacturing industry. The manufacturing industry is a powerful, powerful industry. Because really what it is, within your four walls and your companies, you have a sliver of humanity. You have PhDs and GEDs working in the same facility for the same cause. And that is a beautiful concept. And what's happening right now is as we are now finding out there's not enough meaning in the power of a how or a what, and we're focusing on the why, what I call that is we're actually trying to answer our story. Because the five questions of a story are who, what, when, where, and why. But who, what, when, where only engage the mind. They're facts and figures, and we all love data and spreadsheets. Some people live by them on a daily basis, but spreadsheets are only a byproduct of a human engagement. Spreadsheets and data only show us the reaction of someone's proactive response to a message. And every single person on planet Earth has the same psychological buying process. We all buy emotionally and we back it up logically. And we wonder why our economy is struggling. It's because everyone is focusing on the what, which engages the mind, but there's only one question in a story that engages the heart. And that is the question why. It's the only question. And every single person that you and I were no different than our customers. We all want to be treated as if we were treating someone else, the golden rule. And how we really want to be treated is engage with our heart and our mind. Because deep down, we all have an innate desire to be treated like a human being. And the reason I talk about this and the reason why this matters is we have a family friend who's a survivor of the death camps. And he shows me his old withered arm and he shows me the tattoo numbers in his wrist. 
And he says, you know, Lucas, when, when you reduce someone to just mere numbers, you erase their humanity. You erase their humanity. They no longer exist with colored hair and colored eyes and memories and past and present and future. They're just mere numbers and their humanity's been erased. And he told me that a few years ago and I thought, wow, he, it almost sounds very resonant to what's happening in business right now. Where we only are looking at the data, we only want the spreadsheets, we only want the numbers, and we're forgetting that we have a mind, yes, that needs to be compelled, but we also have a heart that desires to be engaged. And so tonight we are here to honor companies that are doing that full circle revolution back to the why, and people that are leading again with a common cause of their why and sacrifice. And because of that, their companies are thriving, this organization is thriving, and people are starting to take notice. Because the manufacturing industry, here's the truth about it. In this country, we can't claim that we're smarter than anyone else or we're better than anyone else, but we can claim this, that once, at one time in this country, we knew our why better than anyone else. And we're back to that tonight. So that is pretext to introducing some amazing people and amazing companies tonight who are leading with their why. And the award winners, if you could actually come up on this side and exit this side, there's gonna be some photos taken of you. And I think it's time to honor our winners. What do you think? Mm -hmm.